This is DJ Hype from WBBQ Radio El Paso coming to you on this steaming hot July morning. By now, I hope you got the grill hot, the potato salad cool, and your liquor lit. Today's broadcast is brought to you by J. Lee's Spicy Barbecue Sauce. Put some J. Lee's on them smoky bones, why don't you? But first, you better call your mama, because when you taste that flavor, you're going to slap her. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Keep it spicy out there. So are you going to do those dance moves at the family reunion? Sydney. Mom. I'm trying to talk to you, little girl. I almost had it. Answer my question before you almost get this belt. Jeez. Okay. No, I'm not planning to go dancing like this at the family reunion. Uh-huh. I knew that you heard me. Love you. No. No, no, no. You already busted. Mm-hmm. Why do we always have the family reunion here? Why can't we do it in Orlando or someplace fun? Well, honey, we create our own fun. Right? Mom, I'm too old for those kinds of answers. There has to be a real reason. Oh, okay, Miss Lady, I see you. Look, there is a real reason, but once we get to the house, I will talk to you about it, okay? Okay. Is my dad coming? Um... I mean, I invited him. You guys had an argument, didn't you? No, no, we didn't have an argument. It's just adult relationships are sometimes complicated. And your dad, he's he's a good man. But you guys started dating and everything. Sydney, remember I talked to you about grown folks business? Your dad, he's just busy. And right now he's in... Texas some business and I left him a voicemail look honey we both know that your dad loves you very much right so if he can make it he will okay okay hey Jeffrey it's me um I just want to apologize for the other night things have just been moving so fast and I guess so I've been hurt a few times and I just don't want to rush into anything look just um, come to the family reunion and we'll figure things out okay see you soon Where's all the people and the 4th of July decorations? I honestly do not know. <sighs> hey, Mom, where are you guys? You were always supposed to be here. I mean, isn't Dad bringing his famous barbecue ribs? Sweetheart, we're not coming. What? <laughs> okay, you're joking. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Dad, what is Mom talking about? Remember when I surprised your mother with that adventure trip in a Brazilian rainforest? He surprised himself. You know I don't like camping and hiking and all that kind of stuff. I thought it'd be fun. Expand our horizons. Oh, you expanded them all right. Look well, you guys got back last week. We were supposed to be back last week, but we are still here stuck in Brazil. What? Okay, you guys are joking. You're playing with me. You got me. I'm afraid it's not a joke, sweetheart. Tell her the best part. Babe, we don't need to worry her. Worry me about what? Tell her. We call it the Dengue Fever. Dengue Fever? Yes, Dengue Fever. It's a mosquito-borne tropical disease. It gives you a fever. Yeah, I got that part. Fever, diarrhea, headache. Pain in my neck, my back, my face. What? Uh, what? 
So you're not coming to the family reunion again? Not unless we can go back in the time machine and never go on this trip. Oh, at least you two are together. I mean, you wouldn't want to have dengue fever alone, now would you? you later okay I gotta try to figure out how to get some barbecue to this family reunion I love you too bye bye <laughs> hello Aunt May no way yes it's today okay okay I am on my way To get your aunt and uncle. Oh, you know what? Before we go, is something I want to show you, okay? So you remember you asked me why we have our family reunions here every year. Mm-hmm. Well, this is why. You see, when your great-grandfather was released for prison for his wrongful conviction, he ended up suing the government and he won a lot of money. So he started his own business with flipping homes and this is the first home that he ever purchased. And that's why it's so special to our family. Do you think he'd be proud of us? Yeah. I know that he's proud of us and everything that we've accomplished. You know, sometimes I stay here and I know that he's watching over us. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I got some DVDs and oils for sale. DVDs and oils. I'm saying you can't, you can't beat me. Hey, look, I got some DVDs and oils for sale. Oils, you know what I'm saying? These got fairy moans in them. Not fairy moan, meaning you can get on the ferry and she gonna moan all night long. Like, now look, now you have these DVDs and you put these oils together, you gonna have a great night. She gonna go on all night long, all night, all night, all night, all night long, all night, all night. What you got? Just let me know. Hands is magic. It's like that? It's exactly like that. Okay. Somebody please tell this man. Well, in that case, let me get number one. Man, get out my chair. OG Merc Car. What's up with that milk for another day, man? Just another satisfied customer? Obviously. But come on, OG. She asked for you by name. Now keep it real, partner. What's up? Talk to me. Well, she came in and she was like, uh, OG, I know you're a barber. I get paid on the 15th. What the fuck's up? So, did you hook her up? 
I told her just like I tell all these girls. I don't work for charities. I don't work for free. And if you want to use these skills, you got to pay me something. And I told her she had three choices. She can give me some cash. Well, she can give me some grass. Now you're talking. <laughs> or that ass. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Oh, gee, so you try to tell me that you... <laughs> he didn't have no grass either. Oh, no, no, man. Not old G, bro. <laughs> So where you been, brother? We ain't seen you in a while. You doing the self-cut thing? <laughs> I've been traveling a lot for work lately. This ain't no game. This for real. Cause you keep cutting the back of your head, it's gonna look like hamburger meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, star crunch your ass, boy. <laughs> this ain't no game. This for real. <laughs> no, don't make me laugh. I like that commercial, though. If Jeffrey can't get you off, nobody can. <laughs> I use that in the bed all the time. That's my sexy talk with Ding. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever works, bro. <laughs> Wait, did you say your girl's name was Ding? Yeah. What's wrong with that? I like Asian women. You see, fellas, once you go Asian, it's always amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What's her last name? What's her last name? You a fed? You sound like a fed right now. You acting real feddy, partner. It's just a simple question. It's Ling, okay? It's Ling. Wait, hold up. Your girl's name is Ding Ling? Ding a Ling? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, 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 it ain't that funny, bro. Why you all laughing? Where's the laughing coming from? <laughs> hey, it, ain't, it ain't all that funny. Uh, well, why you laughing? It ain't that funny. <laughs> so look here, Jeff, man. Real talk. We appreciate what you're doing out there in them streets. Them young brothers, making sure they get a fair shake in the legal system, that's good stuff, man. Yeah, man, just uh, doing what I can. I feel you. So what you doing for the fourth? A uh, family reunion with my daughter's mom's family. Hold on, hold on, daughter? I didn't know you had a daughter, man. I didn't even know you was a dad. Me either. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a surprise to me, too. Uh, I had a one night stand about nine years ago. Yeah, she didn't tell me about it. Then my daughter found me on the internet, so we've been playing catch up ever since. Internet? What's her family like? Pretty cool, actually. Uh, very accomplished people. You know, the dad is a doctor, the mom's a stay at home mom, and then my daughter's mother is an attorney. Mm. Oh, wow. Can the mama cook? That's all I want to know. <laughs> yeah, she can throw down. Is there going to be a DJ down with some big fat booties? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's my time for party then. I got a couple questions. Okay. Is she crazy? Because ain't nothing like some crazy coochie. <laughs> Don't sleep. <laughs> nah, she mad cool. Man, you got a picture of her. Damn. Damn. Whoa, whoa. Hey, she whoa. bad. OG, what you do with that boy? Ooh, that girl got everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's pretty amazing. So what you waiting for, homie? Nothing. She um she's not feeling me like that. I mean, I'm in her rotation, but she ain't taking me seriously. I mean, come on man, be for real. She's a lawyer, you a lawyer, and obviously you hooked on this woman. At least the best part of her. <laughs> <laughs> like my granddaddy used to tell me, man, women, they just like cars. Like when you rent them, you know, you can ride them however you want to. But your ass gonna pay a high price. And as soon as you get used to it a little bit, time to take it right back, you know what I mean? But when you buy, now you get to ride it whenever you want for a much lower price. But you gotta get used to those imperfections over time. 
Y'all broke asses probably put it on level way anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Look at man, we've been in this game a long time. From thoughts all the way back to skeezers. I mean, eventually you got to make a decision. You keep all that banging and slanging, your dick gonna fall off. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got a fine, good looking woman, man. Beautiful, voluptuous, scrumptious, and she got a great big old juicy okay, booty. Okay, okay, I get it. But I mean, look here, man. She waiting for a black king to swoop down and sweep off her feet. You sitting up with playing around, man. Unless this woman been living in a bubble, she done met 511, non-committal, sorry, cheating, unemployed, emotionally unavailable. They all started out just like you. Nice. She need a man to decide. You decide, and you decide what you're going to do for your family, and then you leave. Look, a woman like that, she got a deep bench, man. Look here. If you ain't the dude that's going out there and winning every day and blowing that bag out on a consistent basis, you're going to be right back on the bench. Watch what I tell you. Finally, it's something I can agree to. Amen to that. Preach. Tell him. He ain't lying. Why I walk right into that booty shaking barbecue and steal that girl right from you. So much fun on this day. I am ready to take off again. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, where's my little Sydney? Actually, I left her in her friend's house because I didn't want her to see you two in this situation. Erica, I love your hair. Did you do something different to it? I always do something different to my hair, but thank you. I mean. <laughs> Erica, you don't seem very happy to see us. Well, Uncle Victor, I thought I was picking you guys up from the airport, not the police station. I mean, the Mile High Club, guys? Really? Yes. Well, Erica, you know that you, of all people, already know about the birds and the bees. Mm -hmm. So I'll just tell you that your Aunt May and I, we just, we got married so early. Yes, I mean, really? directly out of college. <laughs> I mean, we didn't have a chance to do all the crazy things that 20 something year olds normally do. Mm, sure to include having sex in the airplane Ooh. bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it I May and I made it a thing again, <laughs> right? Yes. It's amazing what you can do in a small space when you put your mind to it. And your hips, and you know oh. I love them hips, baby. <laughs> I love them hips, baby. Can you please stop? Well, how okay. do you think my sister-in-law made you? Please, I May, I... No, please. Okay, baby girl, we will behave. I Thank promise. Thank you. I mean, did you two even consider how maybe this affects me? <sighs> affects you? Con consider you? Hello? Excuse me? Yes. Did you even consider us when you had a one night stand? Uh oh! Uh, uh, unprotected one night stand. Uh, yeah, with Jeffrey Davidson. Mm -hmm. Did you? Did you? Exactly. I didn't think so. I rest my case. Listen. Baby girl, your aunt and I love each other, yes, right? We do. We do. I mean, we had some fun. Mm -hmm. We took a risk. We got caught. Yes, we did. <laughs> but we live to talk about it. And you do know that you guys will be in jail if you aren't wealthy. <laughs> and because we know our rights. And not everybody has that privilege. <laughs> well, that's why we are so proud of our beautiful, intelligent, mm -hmm. And way too serious, freedom-fighting attorneys. Well, congratulations, you guys made the paper. <gasps> oh my oh, goodness! Are you kidding me? What? The paper? Get out of here. Let me read this. Look at this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Love is in the air. Mm. A couple in their 60s is being hailed as an example of the love that stands the test of time. Yes. May and Victor Carter, that's <laughs> that's <us. my> baby, <laughs> were arrested this morning when their plane touched down at Richmond International Airport. Hmm. The couple was charged with violation of FAA regulations related to the use of airplane laboratories. <laughs> 
after a flight attendant caught them having sex. The couple spent one night in jail and the charges were dropped for lack of sufficient evidence. Uh, blah, 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 blah. However, their lesson to society is clear. <laughs> Love is in the in air. In the air. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. And you know, if you guys were poor, you would be on the way to prison right now. No. Oh. See, you and your brother created that monster. Monster? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, baby girl. I, you know, I am so proud and happy that you became an attorney just like your Uncle Vic. Mm -hmm. And you know the whole family is proud oh, of you. Oh, yes. But, yes. Do you have the answers to all the problems in the country? Because if you do, then you don't need to be an attorney. You need to be the president. Mm -hmm. And I mean that. Listen, nobody has all the answers. I don't. But I live by three simple rules. Yes, he does. Please my God, <laughs> please my wife, mm -hmm. and support my community. And on that plane, I was pleasing my wife. Ooh. Were you pleased, baby? Woo, baby, oh. I was so pleased. Right. Okay, okay. You know, okay. Well, you know what, you guys win, okay? But can you please just keep it together while I'm right? Please. All right, okay. deal. Deal, deal, deal. Mm. Thank you. So, um, how's your boyfriend slash baby's father doing? Hmm. Fine, but he's not my boyfriend, we're just friends. Hmm. <laughs> just friends? Yes. Just friends? Yes. yes. <laughs> Let's see, he's your baby's father. Mm -hmm. He's a respected attorney in the community. He's great with Sydney. Yes. And every time I see him, he's treating you like like some precious jewel. Am I missing something? No, you pretty much nailed it. Right. Then what's the problem, Erica? I just don't want to make the wrong decision. You know, people have the tendency to change up on you, and that's not what I want. Well, are you seeing someone else? No, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> Baby girl, take it from me. Leave your past behind you or your future will pass you by. What? <laughs> Don't you mean fly by? Oh, yes. <laughs> fly <right>. by. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Fly by. Oh, man. I can't wait to have some of my brother's barbecue. Oh, and Angela's <laughs> coconut cake. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, so about that. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling you Fly Airlines. My name is Benita. How can I brighten your day today? Hi, Benita. I'm trying to get a flight from El Paso, Texas to Williamsburg, Virginia, first thing tomorrow morning. And would that brighten your day? Huh? Would it brighten your day if I booked you a flight from El Paso, Texas to Williamsburg, Virginia for tomorrow morning? Uh, yeah, I guess it would brighten my... Then let's get your day bright. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-
Thanks for nothing. Oh, jeez. I, I'm, I'm driving. I'm driving. No flights. <sighs> directions to Williamsburg, Virginia. Getting directions to Williamsburg, Virginia. Damn. I'm gonna need some coffee. A lot of coffee. <laughs> Family, I'm glad you all are here. We've got a bit of a situation. Well, my brother Errol and his wife are stuck under quarantine in Brazil. Brazil? Yes, Brazil. So normally they host this event, but it's up to us now. So we've got to decorate, cook everything in under two hours before everybody gets here. Woo! So anybody who knows anything about grilling, follow me. And if any of you can cook, follow me. Uh, Erica, you can come to me. <laughs> oh, see, you wrong for that, Aunt May. That's okay. Well, the potato salad you made the last time was boom. You know what? My man loves my potato salad. Oh, does he? Oh, yeah, vegan oh, potato he's salad. He's he's so he's that's what he's doing now. Okay, cool. See, y'all know, see. All of y'all, y'all know, see. That's okay. House, in the Baby, is this the part where all the women leave, leave and go to the kitchen and leave the man the fourth pound over man, man shit? Well, can you handle it? B, can you give the man some space? I need to educate him on the ways of the Carter family. Mm. And see, now that's what I was afraid of. What? So Errol and Angela went to Brazil. Yeah. You ever been? Uh, have, <laughs> bruh, <laughs> have I been? Oh, let me tell you a uh -uh, story. No, you don't. Whoa, no, you whoa, don't. Whoa, don't hey. be telling him none of your skanky ass nasty oh. sex stories. Don't be telling him that. <laughs> so, okay, so this one time. You understand? So. Yes. Um. Let me have a large coffee. Flavor? No, no, no flavor, just regular coffee. Sir, we don't make regular coffee here. Our coffee comes from a special blend made out of special beans that make it the best coffee on this earth. Whoa, okay, um, give me one of those then. One of what? You know, the special, and for the Try the Jack and Bean stock. You're driving, right? Whoa! First of all, personal space. Second of all, that sounds like liquid cocaine. Tastes like it too. How do you know what cocaine tastes like? Just try it. It's really good. Told you. Look, man. And woman, I appreciate your concern. But I got this. Okay, just and tell. Just cannot help some people. It's actually a really good choice. See? Told you. Mm-hmm. Everybody. I can choose my own coffee. Well, pick it already. You're giving us caffeine anxiety. Pretty sure that's not a thing. Um, okay. Let me get the Pinocha. Oh, oh God, God. Up. What's wrong with the Pinocchio? Oh, the coffee is actually named after former President Jose Ramon Pinochet, the one who invented the beans. They come from Chile. Pinocchio's the giant. Ah, uh, um, okay. So, all right, give me that jack off. The, oh, the, the Jack, Jack and the, the Beanstalk! Beanstalk. <laughs> that, um, yeah, the Jack and the Beanstalk thing, made from the beans that are made from angel turds, that thing. Please and thank you. You don't have to be sarcastic, you know. 
Yeah, way over the top, though. That'll be 1975. Big your pardon? Um, no. I asked for one coffee. I gave you one coffee. One coffee costs almost $20? It's totally worth it, bro. Dude, can you not? Try now. You already said that. How would you like to pay? Debit or credit? <sighs> Debit. U.S. debit or Visa debit? Well, it's a Visa card, so I guess Visa debit, I don't know, what's the difference? Visa debit is credit. Then why do they call it Visa debit? I don't know, why don't you ask them? Maybe I will. What's wrong with paying with credit? Credit costs more. Not if you have good credit. Even if you... <laughs> Jack and me inside. US debit or Visa debit? Don't, don't you got something for me? Ah. Uh, so where'd you get that from? Thing, huh? What's it called, man? Don't worry about all that. At least you could get tell me what the name of it. Who that? Who that where? Where what? What do you mean where what? Are you f***ed up already? Yo, you crazy, bro. Nah, man, it's a strain. It's called Who That. It's from New Orleans. That's smooth right there. It's like a hug from God, right? Like, hmm. I don't feel high. I feel good, but I don't feel high. Yo, that's some good stuff right there. What if we was a way for the government to keep us from being focused on success? I mean, what do we get out of anyway? Nah, man. It expands your mind, brother. Yo, check it. If you didn't smoke, would you even have that thought? Ah. Aha. You're right, bro. Mm -hmm. That's some good stuff right there. I feel great. Right, I. I feel coherent, but happy. Yo, check it, huh? What's up between you and Superman? <laughs> Talking about Miss Wright? Uh, what else can I say? She cooks, she cleans, she's divorced, and she get a fat alimony check every month with nothing better to do with it than to mofungo a brother all night long. I'm committed, bro. I'm committed. I am happy for you, brother, truly. <laughs> you know I got an attitude. You don't have to do nothing but stay black and die. I gotta ask. Did I study? What happened to, uh... Um... Don't say it. Oh. I said, man, you blew my high, bro. Look, you can't talk to me. Damn, who can you talk to, bro? She wasn't who I thought she was. Uh, I, I got that, apparently. But what about the baby? She told me it wasn't mine. Damn, bro. Hey, look, it's all good. Maria got mad friends, and they got alimony checks ready to line your pockets up with, bro. I'm not worried about that. The main thing is that I went back, I went back to med school because I thought she was having my baby. And of course, my father wants me to follow through with it. But now that I'm single, I just think, man, I'm just trying to find my motivation. You know what I'm saying? You know what you sound like right now? 
like a spoiled little biatch right now. Is that your pep talk? Hell yeah, it's my pep talk. I mean, look, where I'm from, success, college wasn't even a thing, wasn't a thing at all. Wasn't something that we even talked about. We didn't have any options. We had to survive, bro. Now you got all these options, and now you acting like it's a baby. So what you saying? I'm saying, do all that. Be all that you can be. Be a singer, be a doctor, be a lawyer, who cares? Just see where all leads. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm always right. And it ain't the weed that's talking either. What? What, Mookie? No, I, I, I just saw, no, never mind, never mind. Who the hell is that? You saw it too? The baby, hell yeah. In 30 feet, arrive at your destination. Arrived. Arrived. Where is the gas station? Where is the gas station? You're not gonna keep me from my woman. That's what you're not gonna do. <laughs> of course I'm out of gas. Of course I'm out of gas. <laughs> of course I'm out of gas. Of course I'm out of gas. I'm out of gas. Okay. All right. Directions to nearest gas station. In 20 feet, arrive at the nearest gas station. No, not station. this gas station. Okay. Directions to next nearest gas station. The next nearest gas station is 5.6 miles away. 5.6 miles. 5.6 miles. Okay, 5.6 miles. was at the Universal Soul Circus. <laughs> Carter's always taking care of. I'm just sad they couldn't make it. But um, sounds like they're having a good time. Oh yeah. If I know my cousin Errol, he made it seem like he couldn't get back, so they can stay behind and you know do what they do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you follow me? What? What they do? <laughs> do you think they still be down like that? Holy. 
That man is a urologist. He got access to unlimited Viagra. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Bruh, you already know what I'm do. You know what I'm saying? You already know. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, what are you doing in my car? Um, excuse me, ma'am. You're in my car. Uh, habla inglés? Ma'am, I need you to tell me what you are doing in my car. My nails, cabron. What? Yeah, I speak English. I'm just messing with you. Okay. Um, let's, let's try this again. I'm Jeffrey. And you are? Socorro. Suck what? Socorro! Que pendejo! Are you not from El Paso? No, I'm just, just passing through. <sighs> well, I'm part of the welcoming committee. Welcome. Okay, suck. Say so. So? so. Co. Co. Ro. Ro. Okay, Socorro. Why are you in my car? It's hot. It's hot. <sighs> yep. It's hot outside. The car is cool. It was a sign. What would you do? Okay, point taken. Um. Where did you come from? Outer space. <laughs> Seriously. El Paso. Why are you in the outskirts of town, in the middle of nowhere, sitting in my car looking like you just got out of the club? Sorry, no hablo inglés. It's too late for that. No entiendo. Come on. Okay, okay, Detective Brown. I got in a little argument with my boyfriend. He kicked me out of the car. That's an asshole move. You have no idea how right you are, Jeffrey. All right, uh, let me just fill up the gas tank and then I'll take you wherever you want to go. You're a kind man. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, actually, I'm trying to get to her now. It's been a hell of a day. She's a lucky girl. Hey, um, is that your boyfriend back there? Coming up the road? Uh, is your boyfriend jealous? 
he's very jealous and aggressive. Is that him? Is that him? Uh, mm -mm. No, it's just my blimp driver. <sighs> Thank you so much. You are the best. Thank you. Next time, walk your car, yes? Woman? Jeez. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I got a long drive ahead of me. Long drive. Let's make this happen. Good job, Jeffrey. You had to have a hot car with no spare. All right, okay, okay. It's 4th of July weekend. I will find a tow company. 4th of July weekend, I can do this. You ain't gonna keep me from my woman. That's what you ain't gonna do. Because I miss my phone already. Tell me about it. Who made that no phone rule anyway? I'm pretty sure it was Grandpa Errol. Something about smartphones take the union out of family reunion. I'll be so glad when I'm 18. Well, on the bright side, I think we got some great fireworks this year. We're not allowed to open them until nightfall. Aren't you getting tired of following the rules? Help me open the box. I'm way ahead of you. Come on. Yo, they got some caps. What are caps? You've never used caps? <sighs> My dad used to play with these all the time with me. Usually there's a cap gun or something around. I don't see one. Okay, I'll just use a lighter. All right, these should explode, so like you might want to step back. Dude, what? Really? Nothing? <sighs> Wait, did you hear something? <laughs> hey, Auntie Bay. Oh, hey, sweetie. We need bigger big collard greens, bigger big beans, bigger. <laughs> You need to thank your sister. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be here in the first place. Mm -hmm. Thanks, sis. Yeah. Still can't cook though. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, I gotta ask this. Mm -hmm. Sing a little crazy. Okay. Did y'all see a little baby? A white baby. Well, white skin at least. A white ass little baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Maybe I'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> they are crazy. Yo, so, hold, hold, let me. I got a question for all you guys. You know, 
As black people, should we celebrate the 4th of July? Boy, come on. you sound crazy. Drunk women, barbecue. What's not to enjoy about that? You got the point, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm serious. See, that's a goddamn problem, boy. You too damn serious all of the time. <laughs> I mean, just, just saying, I mean, what about Juneteenth? Listen, son, this day became important to this family because of our great-grandfather and the traditions that he instilled in us. Listen, the 4th of July celebrates our country's freedom from England. But black people, they weren't free when the country became free. Now, you want to know my perspective on it? Yeah, man. You want to know mine? Yeah. yeah. Oh, speak on. I'm grateful for Independence Day because it set a precedence, some we could stand on, so we can have a Juneteenth. Right. All right? Fourth of July celebrates our nation's freedom, mm -hmm. but we can't truly be free right. until we all are free. That's right. Yes, sir. Do you hear me, family? I right. see you, Obama. All right. Yes, then I get an amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Right. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. <laughs> But are we truly free? Boy, you was homeschooled, God. weren't you? Boarding school? <laughs> Did your parents used to burn you with cigarette butts? <laughs> Why does everybody always ask me that? <laughs> Broke down toe, and how may I help you? Yeah, I need a toe. Uh, have a flat. You need us to change your tire? No, my car doesn't have a spare. I just need you to take me to the nearest tire place. Well, that's your first mistake. Oh, first, look. How soon can you get here? Where are you headed? To the nearest tire place. Doesn't matter which one. No, I mean, where are you headed for Fourth of July weekend? Uh, to a family reunion in Virginia. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Y'all gonna have barbecue? Yes, I'm sure we'll have lots of barbecue. What about cake? And... Ma'am, ma'am, what is your name? Sean Terry Franklin. Baby, what's yours? It's Jeffrey. Listen, Sean Terry, you are the only toll place open in town. And if you can't help me, I'm going to spend the 4th of July weekend on the side of the road in my car. Can you help me? Boo, I got you. You know, I almost forgot about that. You start talking about barbecue and fireworks and cake and I stuff. Didn't even mention fireworks. Okay, I'm checking now. All our drivers are called in sick except Leroy. You got lucky too, because Ronnie, Bobby, and Ricky, they like to drink on the holidays. I, I gotta ask. Yep, it's four brothers. Their parents like new edition. That's not even their era. What? Leroy works the most, though. He's on that stuff. So he always need money. I call Leroy now. Hold on. Okay, Leroy said he'll be here in three hours. He's pulling somebody out of a ditch right now. Ouch. Yep. Somebody always worse off than you? Well, thank you, Shantaria. Thank me by taking me to that barbecue. Ooh, uh, I couldn't swing that one. Um, it... Oh, hold up. I thought we was cool. You was just using me to get a holiday tow? Like I'm some kind of tow ho? Uh, no. I ain't nobody's tow ho. Shantaria, look, I, I'm... In a situation where I'm trying to get back with my baby's mother, and it just would be a really bad look if I bring you to the family reunion. You understand? I can't show up with another woman. Oh, sound like you got some trauma. I don't like holiday trauma. You got any friends? Get one of your friends to take me. You got a single friend, right? I have a friend you would probably like, but he's not invited to the barbecue. Well, listen, Jeffrey, it's like this. My family lives far away from me, and we'd never have reunions. And I broke up with my man about a year ago, and I told you I love barbecue. So, 
you're going to give me an invite to this barbecue and a date if I'm going to get you back on the road in three hours. What size tire you need? 255-1824. But nothing. We have a deal. See you in two hours. No, she did. Okay. Counselor, how's it going? Dante. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Well, I'm not in jail for tax evasion, thanks to you. And no thanks to my accountant. So I'm great, brother. When are we playing ball again, man? After the holidays. Look, I got a situation. A situation? Come on, bro. What kind of situation could you have? What's happening? Uh, you know I'm dating your ex. <laughs> Please tell me that's not the situation. That's old news, man. <laughs> old news. Well, I, I want you... To take a blind date to her family reunion. Wait. What? <laughs> what are we feeding these kids? They have grown up so fast. Magic beans, girl. Magic beans. And rice, a potato salad, and barbecue chicken. And ribs. Don't forget the ribs. Like Robert said, Erica does not eat pork anymore. What? You didn't tell me you don't eat no ham, huh? no bacon, no sausage, no chicharrones, no pernil, no bacon fried pork and beans. What in the what? bacon fried what? Yeah, I can't believe y'all never tried it. Oh, uh, yeah, mm. no, I don't eat pork anymore. Why? Why? You sound like the case. Okay, see now, I know you lying, because when you said that, you had that car of family. <laughs> and your eye, yeah, you lying. <laughs> and plus your feet shifted like you used to do in high school. Girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Go on and tell them, baby girl. You want the lifestyle, you gotta own it. You know, it's just not healthy enough for me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Daddy. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, it's supposed to mean, uh, y'all bullshit. That's what. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's just not healthy. I mean, then why do you care about what I eat anyways? Oh, this ain't about you. See, this is about the way you was raised, okay? Because your daddy is my brother. And my brother grew up just like me and the rest of his brothers and sisters in the projects, sleeping in bunk beds, and doing whatever we had to do to make ends meet. I know this, B. Trust me, I've spent more time with your brother than you have. I know how you all were raised, so what's your point? My point is, why did y'all raise them kids to turn their backs on family traditions? Hey, I'm just the aunt. Aunts and uncles are supposed to spoil the kids, and their parents, well, you know, they just wanted them to have the best of everything. So, what were we supposed to do? Raise them in the projects, B? Well, how come y'all don't come and visit us? Oh, we're just busy. Busy? <laughs> a stay-at-home parent with one child. That's why you got so much money and so much time. Okay, you made your point. We will come and visit, okay? Okay. Dang. Come on, baby. Give me some love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. What's your bougie ass? <laughs> Erica, you should take a break from your pork diet. That baby like cook. It's going to change your life. Girl, mm. you make the mess of sound like sex. Oh, Girl, I'm telling you now. Mm. See, well, oh. you know what? The last time I saw you, you were still a virgin. Quit playing. Quit playing. You, you, you still a virgin? Leave him alone, cuz. Come on, the man's been through some things. Just change the subject. No, I'm not a virgin, man. Can we just focus on getting the meat ready? Right, Sounds Fine. like you might not have any expertise in meat. <laughs> <laughs> Why is over there? <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, if you ask me about my sex life, I'm be straight up with you, all right? 
I get it two times a year. Once on Valentine's Day, and once when the kids go away. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, camp sex is the best, man. Let me tell y'all, I love me some camp sex, but how many weeks though? Two weeks or one week? Two weeks of bed, breaking, house shaking, naked ridiculousness. <laughs> right. Damn right, that's what I'm talking about. That's what you're talking about. I see you, I see you. Oh man, Omar, check it out. Your turn. Uh, My turn. Did, did you seriously think we were gonna forget? Uh, you know, I'm kind of curious too. So, uh, what's going on, Omar? What's that, Omar? Okay, okay, Tim, I'll, I'll tell you. Well, tell it. Okay. Well, first time was, um, was in, was in college. Oh, okay. 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 I, I had this beautiful girl. You know, she's in my room. Okay. Sounds good. But it, it's winter, and I get got really excited. So I forgot I left my window open. So I take my pants down, and some air flew in my butt. When things shriveled up, and she told me she came for some real beef, not kibbles and bits. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean that's, that's the only reason I have I, I just have sex in, in the summer, you know, just in case. <laughs> well, this is, this, oh, this, this is your season, Omar. <laughs> Listen, not everybody at this family reunion is family, all right? Now, if you make a love connection, it's on you, but just be careful. All right? Real careful. And stay warm. <laughs> and turn off the AC. <laughs> and no cold drinks. <laughs> You Jeffrey? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, cuz you all set. Whoa, how'd you do that with me in the car? Well, I used to take them, but now I'm just replacing them. Well, good for you. <laughs> no, no, good for you. Cuz, um, back in the day, you'd have woke up on just bricks. Well, Thank you, Leroy. What? I said, thank you. I heard what you said. How do you know my name? Uh, Shantaria told me. What? How do you know Shantaria, my ex, huh? Uh, she's the dispatcher at well, the Well, I don't track. hear you, but I keep she's the dispatcher. She's the dispatcher at the top track. Broke down to me. Oh, oh. <sighs> right, so, sorry about that. What the hell she has my phone for? You know, it goes crazy. Um, Got me kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does. Um, okay. Leroy, how much do I owe you? How much you got? No, I'm. I'm asking how much do I owe you for the tire and the service? And I'm asking you, how much you got in that wallet? What difference does it make? Just, just give me the price. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred. For a tire? Holiday prices. It's the Fourth of July, not April Fool's Day. It's a good tire. It ain't that damn good. Want me to take it back? I got five hundred cash. Cool. Look at him, Mr. Can't Get Right. Uh, Just in time, baby. <laughs> or CP time. Uh, whatever, y'all. I ran into some traffic. So. Mm. Yo, you still rapping, man? Nah, man. I'm producing now. Okay. I know you. I remember your song. Eat the booty. <laughs> yeah, that was my jam, man. That hook was on fire, boy. <laughs> Quit playing. Hey, wait, 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 wait. So this is an actual song we're talking about. That's how you get down, dog? Well, it was meant to be provocative, you know, not literal. It's something to get the crowd hype. It sure yeah. would get me high. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got a live one there, man. You right about that? Yeah, man. How long y'all been together? Believe it or not, we just met. 
but she got that nose open. <laughs> You're right about that, brother. Wide open, too. <laughs> yeah, well, just keep away from Mr. Eat the Booty here. <laughs> oh, 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 y'all got jokes. Good. Right. Right. You're doing over there now. Yo, that baby wasn't real, right? Nah, it's the strain, man. Who that, get it? It must be named after like hallucinations. Like you see people that's not there. Dog, come on, man. I saw the same damn thing, man, come on. We both saw him run under that table. Man, either he's up somebody's skirt or he stole a car and drove away. Either way, that boy's gone. Now he ain't he ain't there. I looked up everybody's skirt. He wasn't there for sure. You did what? It was an emergency, bro. You looked up your mother's skirt? Well, I came from there. Ugh. Ew, you came from one too. Yo. Come here, you little monkey. Mookie. What? That's somebody's baby. No, that's a possessed baby. Grown ass man in a baby's body with a stank ass attitude. I guess you're right. I'm always right. Let's go get this bad ass baby. Woo! Man. Your boy grew up fine. Well done, sir. Hmm. Well, thanks, but I can't take all the credit. <sighs> You know, it takes a village. You know, when our parents first had us, I mean, they didn't have, you know, the time or the commitment, and we spent a lot of time with our Aunt May and yes, Uncle Victor. And, you know, you guys had a lot of experiences that our parents just didn't, so we were fortunate enough to learn from Aww. four parents instead of two. Thank you. Yes, it takes a village. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Erica, she was a good one. <laughs> Robert, he was the rebel. I mean, always trying to do the opposite of everything that his parents wanted him to do. But you know, he is in med school now, so I guess we can't complain. Ooh, a doctor and a lawyer? I mean, I guess not. <laughs> Who's Mookie doing? Girl, Mookie is Mookie. Okay, I mean, Mookie is dependable, but he is funny as hell, but I cannot get him to concentrate on nothing. But fast-ass women with fat ass. <laughs> My Miss Jackson. Girl. <laughs> I mean, what? Do I say insults or compliments? I'm a little bit confused here. Well, I mean, you know, when he first brought you home, I was a little bit concerned, but you know, you're cool. You're all right. So, um, now, since you brought it up, uh, what do you see in him? He don't have any money. He don't speak the Espanol, and he don't dance the salsa. I love him. Oh. He makes me laugh. He treats me like a Latin queen. He wants to become better at what he is now. Wow. All I know, that's my man. I'm keeping my man, and you all better get used to me. Oh, damn. Yes, she's all right. Aww. Well, welcome to the family. Gracias. Good, I Mm-hmm. Um, Erica, when are you getting married? Huh? That was out of the blue. <laughs> Good question, though. Really, Angela? Girl, you know I'm being nosy. <laughs> I'm nosy, too. Where's your been charming? Yeah. Hello, this is Erica. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a family reunion right now. Yeah, 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 I can call you right now. The phone did not ring. <laughs> oh, Rob rings. Look, hello, this is Erica. <laughs> Who answers the phone like that anyway? I'll tell you one thing, though. If she's keeping a secret like that, she really liked this one. Yeah, y'all leave my baby girl. Oh, 
leave my baby girl alone. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, that old ugly ass baby's gone, man. Damn demon baby. Damn Chucky freaking kid. Freddy Krueger's kid. <laughs> old ugly ass baby. Did you see him? Y'all sound like some punk ass player haters. Don't shit on me because y'all bitches can't keep up. What y'all want with me anyway? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. You can talk? Now you just insulting my intelligence. What the hell do y'all choose? Want with me. Spit it out. And quit staring at me like I'm a damn alien. Before I start busting heads in here. Well, well, we just... You just seem... Were you even invited to this family reunion? Were you invited? Well, yeah. I'm, no, not exactly, but I'm part of the family. How you know I'm not? Well, 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 no offense. Yo, little white ass, ugly ass, don't look like you belong at our family reunion. You sound racist as hell right now. How you know I ain't light skinned or albino? Well, what are you? I'm a baby fool. What are you? That's the real question, Robert. What are you? What kind of question is that? Well, it must be a good one, because you just asked me the same thing. Answer it. What are you? I'll make it easier. Are you a man or a baby? A man, obviously. Is it obvious? You broke up with what's her name six months ago, and you ain't been on a date yet. Seemed to me like you lost your balls, homie. And if you lose those, you will never have kids. And you are the last in a long line of Carter men. So your family needs you to get your ass out there and date and find a real woman and have some better butter. through hell trying to get to, I've been driving all night, I drank some cocaine, coffee, I think I had cocaine in. Anyway, I, I, right I know you got a deep bench, and I just need you to know, I love you. Why didn't you say that before? No, I don't have a deep bench. No, I only have you. And I love you too. <laughs> wanna be my, do you, do you, do you wanna be my? Do you do you do you wanna be mine? Do you do you do you wanna be mine? Do you do you do you wanna be mine? Do you do you do you wanna be mine? Do you do you do you wanna be my baby at the end of the night? Be mine. Do you do you do you wanna be mine? Do you do you do you wanna be mine? Do you do you do you wanna be my baby at the end of the night? Would you like to take my hand? I can be your midnight man. Everything that you were hoping that I can And you've been driving me insane Damn, I really love your brain I love your hair, I love your style I love your ass, I love your smile Would it be a reckless claim To say I think you feel the same So if we do this, we won't use this booze excuse to blame So let's go out and dance once more Let our bodies go explore Rhythms and melodies that please the dance floor you right so do you want to be my baby at the end of the night be mine do you do you do you want to be my baby at the end of the night be mine do you want to
Thank you.